Hello there, it's Steve-O here from the Elite FBL podcast, and as the title suggests, have I triple Captain Salah? Well, as you can see on screen right now, the answer is yes, but have I clickbaited? And the simple answer is yes, but what I do want to say is that this triple captaincy it's, it's a really weird one because as I'll quickly go over the standings in my cash mini league that I take so seriously so as you can see Jason there co-host Jason is exactly 100 points ahead of me and I am roughly 70 odd points ahead of Connor Lee in third Now, going back to my team, I could do two or several things here. I could either go with the triple captain in Salah. Reasoning being is that his form of late has actually been pretty good. Let's have a quick look. Obviously, last week he got two goals and an assist. His last two away fixtures... Yeah, he's got six points in each one, but at least that's a return from a captain. And compared to Aguero and Sterling, especially Sterling, Salah's returns have been a lot better, so to speak. I mean, as you can see here, you know, the last five or five fixtures for Aguero, 9-2, 5-2. Not that encouraging, really. Sterling is even pretty much even worse. And I'm a player that likes to play with form. And yeah, as you can see here, okay, barring the away performance at Crystal Palace, keyword being away, he ain't done that great. And again, barring these absolute bonkers scores versus Chelsea and Arsenal where let's be honest here and including Aguero you know these are anomalies these, these don't happen very regularly and no disrespect but Arsenal and Chelsea were there for the take in those times but barring this Watford game you know he ain't been performing that well I've been watching and listening to various you know podcasts and all this about if you want to catch the mini league leader, you're going to have to go full differential. I think that I'm probably... So as I record this now, it is 6.30. By the time this gets uploaded, I'm not wanting this to be too long, this video. 20 minutes later, I'll be saying goodbye. But no, uh, it's 6.30 now. And by the time I've uploaded this video, it'll probably be like for what three or four hours. But that aside... You'll have seen what I've done, but I'll have probably bottled it and I'll probably go with the safety option in Aguero because, as I keep stating, this here is what I take very, very seriously and I cannot let potentially Connolly catching me. I mean, the likelihood of him catching me is very, very... Yeah, so Connolly is 66 points behind me and he has got some... And I'll bring up his team quickly here. He's got some nice differentials ahead of me. But he has made, as I'll show you down here, he has made two transfers this week. So he's taken a minus four. I would have no idea who he's done. But I can't see him getting rid of Rashford despite being an injury issue. Although I think Solskjaer pretty much said he's going to be okay. Pogba, another one I can't see him getting rid of. Will he get rid of Mane to bring in maybe Sterling and Captain? I don't know, but he's got a nice set of differentials on me. And I'm a bit, you know, that score of 116 that he got last week is absurd. So, yeah, I'm a bit worried that a bit worried that a 66 point lead may be cut, cut down. But, you know, let's be honest here. I think that I, I've, I've got that covered. It's just catching Jason. I've kind of said to myself, nah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna catch him. There's no chance. So 
I know that he's going to captain Aguero. It's now just a question of my triple captaincy is that differential. Like I state, Salah against Barcelona d did look pretty good, to be fair. He missed that. I'm not going to call it a sitter because the ball just came straight at him. But barring that, and I'm somebody that does actually believe in the thing of, well, if he did that well against Barcelona, how well is he going to do against, in this case, Newcastle as an example? If I look at Mane's, some, Mane's someone that I've overlooked, actually, to be fair. Maybe I could triple captain him, but away from home again. Fulham away 13. Yeah, again, I think, do you know what? Like I state, I'm probably going to bottle it and stick, stick the triple captaincy on Aguero. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm not going to do it. I could go with, do you know what, I might just go Sterling for the sake of being different. But his form as of late has been, like I said, pretty poor. It's a tough one. I'm going to make this video really, really short and sweet. I'm going to quickly end with the fact that I've made no transfers. I don't see the point personally making any transfers. I think that based on the predictions that we did, we're really relatively confident that the Sun could be in the goals this week. There's a bloke at work, uh, the security guard. He is very, very, very good at predicting games. In fact, it's quite frightening when it comes to predicting games. And sometimes he'll come out with something like, for, ex for example, when he predicted the Burnley-Chelsea game, he predicted that we wouldn't lose. And we all know what happened there, ended 2-2. He predicted the Huddersfield game 5-0 that Salah did so well in. We all know what happened there. Ended 5-0. He is very good at predicting. And he said today that... So I asked him just for tips on this particular <laughs> a game week. He said that both Liverpool and City should have it relatively comfortable. But Man City more so. He went with a 3-0 victory to... City and a 2-0 victory to Liverpool. Again, that means absolutely nothing. Goals could come from anywhere. I'm fully aware of this, but this is so tough. And like I say, as I speak now, it's 6.35. I'm going to do a bit more research. And I've just hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. For anybody watching, I just accidentally zoomed in. But yeah, I'm going to do a bit more research before I am... Before I, um, before I confirm, but at the moment, Salah is my triple captain, and yeah, this is this is a very very tough decision for myself. It's quite simply a case of do I play it safe with Aguero? Do I go a bit of a a bit of a differential in Sterling? I will say though that if I bring up the fantasy football scout site, that on their captain poll. Aguero is absolutely flying high, as you can see here. He's 32% of the votes. The next one down, Sterling being only 13%, and Salah at the moment, 8%. I'll tell you what I would have seriously have done if I had him. I would have genuinely probably triple Captain Hazard if I owned him, but I ain't going to be bringing him in, so... Probably would have gone with triple captain Hazard versus Watford. I think that's a really, really nice fixture to be captaining Hazard in. But, you know, we, 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 will, we will find out what happens. I think I'm going to leave it there. Like I said, it was only a quick, short, swift video. I'll just quickly run through my team. As you can see here, Leno in goal. Although a bit of talk that Czech may play, but I can't see, I just can't see that. But I've got a gun. Uh, uh, gun in, in goal in, as my sub just in case uh, Valerie Bennett and Laporte as my three defenders Son Sterling Salah at the moment triple captain and Mane Calvert-Lewin playing tonight against us Burnley probably won't do anything uh, like I say all my differentials never do anything no matter how logical the moves are Aguero Jimenez 
Then on the bench, I don't need to really talk about it, but Hudson Adoy not going to be playing for the rest of the season. Bednarak is basically my first sub, and then Cathcart as my final sub there. I was thinking of getting rid of Cathcart for another defender, i.e. Scott Dan, or even Walker Peters. Someone did mention in the chat the other day about Foyf, but Foyf um, is five million, and I can't afford him. He's too much out of my price range, unfortunately. So yeah, there we have it. Uh, there's a quick, would you believe, short, sweet video from Steve Solo podcast from myself steve-o <clears throat> as jason explained on the preview podcast unfortunately he won't be able to do one on sunday evening due to the fact that he's away from a laptop which is cool ironically he's going down to where i used to live but that aside i will probably do a solo podcast over the weekend probably sunday if i'm honest with you but i have no idea when i may even do one tomorrow i really don't know in fact yeah i'll probably do it sunday because we'll all know what will have happened predominantly by that point all i can say is good luck with all your your captaincy picks your team selections it's going to be really interesting to see what uh regular contributors in block fpl do of course 10th in the world looking to get second spot incredible incredible rank john harris in our elite fpl mini league uh, see if see who he goes and uh, puts the captaincy on. FPL Booner, another one, another regular contributor and a huge supporter of this podcast. He's very highly ranked as well. Be interested to see who he captains. And yeah, it'll be just interested to see who I <laughs> captain in the end. But yeah, thank you for watching the podcast. Really appreciate it. Thank you for taking your time out and uh, just in well enjoying what I have to say. If you've enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. It does help the channel. That helps the video get marketed across the world of YouTube, so to speak. But no, in all seriousness, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoy the Elite FPL content and you haven't subscribed, please do. You know, just hit that subscribe button. Quite simple, really. And yeah, I will leave it there. And yeah, wishing you all luck. Cheers, guys. See you soon.